Hi guys, how are you doing today? Good, great, thank great, you. Yeah. Lovely to see you. So in the film, Jack has to convince the world that he wrote all of the songs by the Beatles. Mm. They... When did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? If you had to persuade the world that you wrote all the songs by any band, any artist, who would you pick? I'm going to say uh, Radiohead. Oh, yeah. Oh, no one choice. would believe me because but, no but, one else could have yeah. written those songs, but then the same thing happens with Jack, so... Yeah, no one knows who they are. Them. Really, what are you saying? Um, Whitney Houston. <laughs> wow, and you can That's sing them choice. big numbers. Oh, we have to be able to yeah. sing it? You've got to perform Oh, you can oh, sing it. OK, no, OK, then Britney Spears. We've heard Lily really sing. I quite not, sing definitely Britney. can't even sing um, three notes of it, but I could, I could, I could give you Britney. Bit of Britney. So mm. are they your go-to karaoke numbers? Bit of Britney, bit of Radiohead? Um, or Cher. I don't know if Radiohead's very good for karaoke. No, it's not great for karaoke. Beatles is probably my karaoke. Oh, really? Now, now it probably is, yeah. All Saints. I mean, oh, I could be yeah. all, all the Shows. Shows. I could be Great all the all, I'm all the All Saints. Pure Shores. Yeah, lead, backing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love it. A few uh, so questions that I need to know. Um, <laughs> we're already started. That's great. Uh, so, Lily, you obviously starred in Mamma Mia 2 last year. Who is your favourite out of ABBA and the Beatles? <sighs> Ooh, I, can't, I couldn't answer that. It's a tough I couldn't thing. answer that. Both bands are equally as good as... I like them both as much as I want to them as well. I love both my children equally. <laughs> they're amazing, though. I mean, both of them you wouldn't, couldn't live in a world without either of those bands. Very yeah. true. Not to mention you, the world wouldn't have Mamma Mia, which would be... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... All right, but who would win in a fight? Abba or the Beatles? In a fight? Mm. What um, kind of fight are we talking? Like a, a, uh, fist like fight. a rock battle? Or, no. or a jam? A both. Who would win in a jam? You've got Abba, you've got I the would Beatles. like to see them jam together. I yeah. Mean, can, can, we, can, we, can we not be violent? Can we? <laughs> all right. Peace and love. Keep it peaceful. <laughs> keep it peaceful. In spirit of the Beatles. Let's peace keep and it love. all love, baby. Cool. So in the film, Ellie goes all the way up to Liverpool to meet Jack. And it's kind of a bit of a romantic gesture. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for anyone? Oh, God. It's bad that we can't think of anything. Um, I'll tell you about the first romantic gesture I ever. There was a girl that I fancied uh, when I was about ten, I think, at school, mm -hmm. and I uh, I was really nervous, and it was Valentine's Day, and I, I, I quickly just got a bit of A4 paper and I folded it over and wrote like well, uh, something about like I fancy you or something, Aww. and then like left it on her desk, and then I was absolutely mortified for the rest of the day. And then did anything happen from that? No, it was like that thing where we both acknowledged it had happened, and then she just kind of talked to me a little bit and it was kind of small talk. So I didn't go that way. No, but it was, I think, my first ever romantic <laughs> but that's romantic. But it's, you know, it shaped you as a human being. Yeah. Yes, because now all I give is people with is, is a four pieces of paper with scrolls on them. And people Listen, seem to be happy I with think it. that's romantic. Yeah, I'll take lovely. anything. Thanks. Uh, so, obviously, Ed Sheeran plays a role in the film, plays himself. Uh, did he give you any advice on performing? I do have a suggestion. Hey, dude. Hey, dude, are you sure? Hey, dude. He's right. Yeah, he said to me uh, about, uh, like, the stadium the kind of the audience become like a big blur mm -hmm. when he's like playing you know because I'm like how did you because I'd been to see he invited us along to one of his gigs mm -hmm. at, in Manchester and he's like playing to this entire stadium and then he came to rehearsal and I was like how did you do that and he's just kind of like it just becomes a blur like oh, I could a, never it just becomes blur for the band he got used to it <laughs> so did you actually play at Wembley I did play at Wembley yeah wow yeah yeah, yeah. that is mad was that it's scary mental. pretty scary um and pretty um, tiring. <laughs> very, yeah. very long. All night long. All night long. Played Wembley. Yeah. Reeling about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, imagine being at Wembley and Tamwa from EastEnders just comes out on stage. That is yeah, I know. Mad. Yeah. I would lose it. <laughs> so obviously we can't forget your iconic EastEnders character. Mm -hmm. Who do you think Lily would play if she was an EastEnders? <gasps> oh my gosh, what a question. Oh, oh. go on. I know I'd wanted to have been back in the day. Bianca. Martine McCutcheon. Oh, oh, great shout. I loved her so much. I read her autobiography. I went to see her in My Fair Lady, but she was off. Um, yeah, anyway. But who would it be? I, I think I'd love to see you play like a feisty, like, yeah. Bianca Bianca type would get my like claws out. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Fake nails and claws. Or, yeah, yeah that like kind that. of vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the start of the film, your character Jack plays at Latitude Festival. Yes. And there's like great people in yeah. there. Mm. Didn't go that well. Have you ever had any festival nightmares? 
you lost a welly in the mud, your mate got too drunk and you had to go miss your favourite band. Yeah, I mean, that's my whole experience of festivals, is being in the wrong sad, place at the wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> Metaph metaphorically and literally stuck in the mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was in a port and next door to me someone was screaming at uh, one point and I was like, it, it was like, I didn't know what was wrong. I thought I, oh, I was really worried. Oh, a lot of things could have been wrong. Yeah. And then, yeah. I, and then they just kind of walked out like nothing had ever happened. So I, mm. I don't know what they were that's up to. That's festivals for um, you. People just yeah. do their thing and carry on. Thank you so much for speaking Thank to me. Thank you so much. Good luck with the film.